I'm going to replace a double switch in a bathroom. And this is an old-fashioned Despard style switch. It has individual single pole switches held together on a bracket. You can actually hold up to three different switches on this style. And I'm going to replace this with a newer uh, switch. This has two single pole switches in a single housing. And we're going to go over the steps. All right, I'm going to use the tester to check the wires, see if it's live. So the top is live here. This first switch is turned off, and so when I touch the bottom screw, you can see there's no flow of current. So I know this top wire is coming from the breaker box. And this is a real unique uh, wiring scheme here. It's coming in from the breaker. They're actually looping the wire all the way through. They've stripped the wire in two places and allowed it to go to something else, and most likely this outlet down here. Usually you're going to have one hot coming in. It's going to be used for both switches. And then on the bottom of the switch, it's going to go up to either the light or to the fan. If you had two individual circuits in a breaker box and they were both operated by different breakers, you would actually take this tab on the dark screw side and you would break this off. And that would allow each individual single pole switch to be operated by a different circuit. All right, I'm going to remove the screws from the top of these switches, and I'm actually going to take the screw completely out, which is going to expose the wire and keep it in that shape so I don't have to try to force it out. So I'm going to take the wires off of the top of the switch, and then I'll do the same on the bottom. And I use the tester to make sure that uh, the circuit was truly off. And we're just going to remove this completely and it'll keep a nice shape and again you can see how instead of just one wire coming in and feeding both single pole switches it actually goes on to another circuit and they just strip the the insulation off right here now on the bottom we're going to uh, disconnect these two what I didn't like about this original setup was they had the fan hook to the first switch and the light to the second. Most people when they walk in a bathroom you want the light first. So we're going to make sure that we put this wire here that goes up to the light first and the wire here that goes up to the fan second. And you can see, I don't know whether you can see on the video or not, but how burnt this screw is. And because the box is metal and these wires were exposed, when someone at some time was removing this they touched this screw against the metal box and, and created a, a short. Uh, and so, you know, it's, it can be potentially dangerous, especially if you're working with live wires, if you don't cover this with electrical tape after you tighten these screws down. So I'm remove these two wires and we'll move on to the next step. All right, a switch is just a break in the hot. There's no neutral wire connected. So we just have a hot coming into the switch and then the hot leaving the switch to turn on and off a light or a fan. In this case, when it's uh, two switches in one body, they mark the top terminals with a darker colored screw and we've got gold on the bottom. And so normally you're going to have one hot coming in and you can attach it to either screw and it sends power to both switches. In our case, we're going to make sure that the, the lettering, the off and the on, is correct. That shows the top of the switch and we're going to connect our wire that we know is the power coming in from the breaker box to the top terminals and then we're going to connect the other ones going up to the light and up to the fan onto the bottom. Alright, we'll put a loop in each of the wires and what we want to do is we want to attach it to the terminal in a clockwise direction so when we tighten the screw it's going to tighten down. If we were to loop it counterclockwise around the screw terminal then it would actually push it off. All right, I connected the bottom two screws and now I connected the top two and I made sure I pinched these together and so all of the wire is laying flat against the terminal and now we're going to uh, turn the electric back on and make sure it works. Again, all these switches are going to have a grounding screw. In this case, there's no grounding wire here. Uh, we're going to turn back on the electric and see. All right, how I've got the electric back on and we'll test the first switch. All right, and that operates the light, which is much more convenient when you come to the bathroom and hit the first switch for the light. And the fan works also. So what I'm going to do now is I'll turn off the electric, and then I'll take some electrical tape, and I'll wrap it around the terminals all the way around the body, and that'll help protect in the future if someone takes out this switch 
and they happen to leave the electric on, it won't give them a chance to uh, ground it out against the body of the box here. So there's the steps to replace uh, a double switch in a bathroom.